I recently did one of the Google online courses and one of the brilliant tips I learned was how to super quickly clear everything out of your Google Drive and your Gmail account. That's exactly what I'm gonna do in this video. Really hope you like the video and if you do, please like it, please share it, please subscribe to my channel, please comment on it, please do one of those things because it really helps to boost my rankings on YouTube. Let's get into the video. So the good thing is that you can go to the Google Drive and delete both the content from your emails and the content from the Google Drive. So all you need to do is come over to your Google Drive, so go to your apps, click on the drive, and it's only one button that you need to focus on, and it's a button that I never used before, and that's this one here, Storage. I want you to click on Storage, and it's gonna bring you into this page, and I'm just gonna explain a couple of things and then show you how to clean up. We get a big breakdown here and I can see that most of mine is to do with my Gmails, which I'm not surprised about. And here you actually get a list of big files and that's all quite useful, but this is the magic button. Click on this button here, clean up space. When you come onto this area, there's two key things. You've got these boxes here at the top and these are really useful because you can delete content super quickly and content that probably you do want to delete like large attachments, large files, etc. But also you can access specific parts here as well. So I do a bit of both. So let me just give you an example. Let's start by deleting some of my spam mails. I'm simply going to click here by clicking on review and what I can do is I can either select individual ones that I want to delete or what I can do is I can just click here and select them all and then all I need to do is to click delete. Now I haven't got many spam mails because I've actually been deleting them a lot so there aren't hardly any there at all but you will have possibly a lot and that has already given me 52.8 kilobytes back. It's not very much to be honest with you but that's because I'm always cleaning that out anyway. Now I've just clicked on the back button to come back again and notice now that that option isn't here. As you deal with the particular options, then of course it, it basically deletes it as it isn't an option anymore. Now another really good one is gonna be this mail, emails with large attachments. So it can click here and do exactly the same thing again, okay? You can click and select either individually or totally, and again you can notice that I keep my Gmail or, and my Google Drive really clean and I can delete those. And this is the way that we can go, okay? I'm gonna jump back because I just wanna point out one other thing that we can do and that is we can go straight in to these areas of our Google Drive. We've got another way of working. We can go straight into your Google Drive, your Gmail, your photos, and I'm gonna do, do the Google Drive, and obviously it will be exactly the same for the other one. So we're gonna click here. It's gonna bring me into my Google Drive, and what it does is it actually brings me into, it shows me, interestingly enough, some of the large files that I might wanna delete. So I've got some files here that I don't need anymore, and what I can do is I can select them. I can select all of them if I want by just click on this, but I can select individual files, okay, and then what I can decide to do with those files is I can simply delete them, okay? Don't forget, if the video is useful, please, please like it. And if you can, even do more and share it and comment on it. And of course, join me on my YouTube channel. I'm just gonna show you one final thing, just to make the point absolutely clear. You can do the same with your Gmail. And what the Gmail is gonna do is it's basically gonna build up, show you some any Gmails that you've got with large attachments and I'm definitely going to get rid of both of those so I'm going to click on them both and delete them and that's the end of the video it really is a helpful as you can see I really keep my Gmail clean by cleaning out everything that I don't need and if you've built up a lot of content this is a great way of sorting it out if you want more free videos, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Loads of content. I specialize in making videos for language teachers, showing them how to use technology. But of course, a lot of my content is relevant to any teacher in any area. And we do a lot of work, for example, in the area of AI. You can always click here on the drop down menus and see some of the content. All the videos are free. If you want to go that bit further, then sign up to the newsletter. And that way you get updated with all of the latest videos. Uh, all of the webinars that we run, they're often free. And at the moment, there's a 14-part video course where I send you a video about every three or four days, one video at a time. Uh, it's completely free where I show you some of the top technologies for language teachers uh, in the area of AI and of technology generally. Thank you very much. I'll leave a few more videos on the screen now that you might find useful.